Today, Billy has come to Butler Hospital for an x-ray. Billy has travelled to the hospital by car, but there are lots of other ways to get to Butler Hospital. You might travel by bus, taxi or walk. If you are unsure of how you can get to the hospital, please talk to your GP practice. It may be that hospital transport can be arranged for your appointment. When Billy arrives at the x-ray department in the hospital, he goes to the main reception to check in. Please remember to bring your appointment letter with you. Billy is then asked to wait in the waiting area. You might be asked to get changed into a gown before your x-ray and there is a room for you to change. If you are worried about this, please speak to staff. Our Learning Disability Ambassador Lauren is going to talk to you a little bit more about getting changed for your x-ray. When you come for an x-ray we might need to get you into change. These are some of the gowns that we might ask you to wear. Oh, yeah, this sure. one yeah. and this one that ties at the back. If you wear clothing that hasn't got any metal on and it's quite plain it might mean that we don't have to get you to change. If you have any needs that may mean waiting in the waiting area is difficult, please let staff know. We recognise that sometimes loud, busy and crowded places can be challenging. And we can find a quiet place for you to wait for your appointment if this helps. If you're feeling nervous about your examination, you can bring somebody in with you whether it be a parent, a friend or a carer. Uh, Billy's brought Ryan here today, so he's going to come in and he's going to stand behind the screen. An x-ray is a big machine that takes photos of the inside of your body. It works a bit like a camera. It doesn't hurt to have an x-ray, but it is important that you stay as still as possible whilst you have the picture taken. Before you have your x-ray, the radiographer will ask you for your details, such as your name, date of birth and address. They will then explain what they are going to do. They will help make sure that you are in a good position for the x-ray. You might be asked to stand, sit or lay on the couch depending on what part of the body you need a photo of. The radiographer might need to move the x-ray machine to get into a good position for the photo. The machine can move quite quickly and make a noise. If this is likely to cause you distress, please let the radiographer know and they can set up the machine before you come into the room. So we've just been asked to do an x-ray of your hand today. Is it your left hand? Lovely. Lauren is lining up the camera and Billy is staying as still as possible. Lauren will then go behind the screen to take the photo. Right Billy, we're just going to do an x-ray of your chest, okay? I just want you to come and stand with your chest against this board so that you're touching it, just like that for me. Come in nice and close. Just going to raise that board. Billy has come for an x-ray of his hand and chest today. What part of your body needs to be x-rayed will depend on the problem, so it may be different for you when you come to your appointment. The doctor who has asked for you to have the x-ray will let you and the radiographer know what part of your body needs to be x-rayed. Billy was asked to come for the x-ray by his GP. Billy will now go home and wait for his GP to contact him with the results. This could take up to two weeks. If Billy doesn't hear back from his GP about his results, he'll need to give them a call. If you have come from the outpatients department, you will need to return to outpatients after you have had your x-ray to talk to the doctors. If you have come from the A&E department, you will also need to return to A&E after you have had your x-ray. If you are unsure about what to do after you have had your x-ray, please talk to the staff in the department who can help. Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm a radiographer and I'm also a learning disability ambassador for the medical imaging department. That's a place where you might come to have scans and x-rays done. You can keep an eye out for us and identify us by looking for the badge, which looks like this. 
My role as an ambassador is to make reasonable adjustments to improve your experience. Some of the adjustments that we can make are longer appointments, flexible appointment times. You can come for a look around beforehand if that makes you feel better. We can provide a hoist. We can provide a quiet place to wait. And we can also prepare, prepare the environment beforehand to reduce noise and adjust lighting to suit you. By making us aware beforehand and fetching in your hospital passport, it can help us to put these adjustments in place.